at BBC Simon McCoy is the Twitter account if you've got something to say about that. Now, you're watching Afternoon Live. Young people from across the UK and the Republic of Ireland will be given a Rotary Young Citizen Award this weekend to celebrate the inspirational work they've done in their community. The awards started over 10 years ago. They reward young people who've all undertaken extraordinary work from tackling homelessness to saving lives. Well, one of them is Abby Brakewell, who's won the Rotary Young Citizen Wheel Power Sports Award winner and, as you can see, joins me here in the studio. Abby, first of all, congratulations. I mean, why, why do you think you've won this award? Um, I just think that we, as disabled people, have a lot of tough battles and one of them is trying to get people heard. And I know that wheelchair tennis has really helped me with that and so has the Tennis Foundation. You have a degenerative disease, a, a, a spinal disease, uh, so tennis perhaps wasn't the f first thing that you were thinking of uh, as, as something to do, and yet you went along to a tennis match. What happened? Yeah, um, I was actually ball crew at the British Open, and when I was there, one of the England coaches, Tony Nappett, Tony Nappett um, was there, and he just asked me, would you like to come and have a go after I came off court? And he gave me his number to give my mum, for him to give a call and from there on after Saturday we started playing ten I started playing tennis and I just loved it. Let's be honest Abby, it didn't go brilliantly well to start with did it? No, um, to start with I couldn't really even catch a ball, my hand-eye coordination wasn't very good at all but as time's gone on the coaches have talked to me more and taught me loads of things and I've made so many friends there and over time I have got better with it. You talk about your friends and uh, they talk about your infectious love of what you do <laughs> and it really comes over just talking to you about it. So, so what is it that, that, that makes you want to just keep doing this? I just love it so much. It's so competitive at the same time. Um, you've got so many people that we know and when you go to competitions there's like so many people that we meet, new people and people like Gordon Reed I've met before and people like Elf Hewitt and it's just, I think it's amazing, really. What's the plan? I really want to go to the Paralympics and Wimbledon. That is my dream. I, I just can't wait. I just really want to go. What did your friends say when you first started saying, I, actually I'm playing wheelchair tennis? I mean, did, did they fully support you or were there some saying, you can't do that? It's, it was a bit of a shock to begin with because um, before I did wheelchair tennis, I, I was walking, but my condition got worse, which meant I had to go in my chair more. But they got, they've been getting used to it. It's not, it's not quite normal for someone to go from straight standing up to someone being in a wheelchair more often. And I think they were so supportive and a group called This Girl Can has been really helpful and I'm one of their ambassadors now trying to get more girls involved with sport and things like that. You've been smiling ever since you came <laughs> into the studio. I d you must have moments where you think, oh, do you know why me? Uh, yeah, like everything, if you've got a disability, you sometimes do get a bit unhappy about why is it me, why can't, why do I have to have it, but like everything else, we um, we d learn to adapt, we learn to get over things like that. And what do you say to others? Because as I say, your friends say you're an inspiration. How do you get them to, to, to share that enthusiasm? I, be, I just say, just be who you are and do what you can and soon enough you'll be inspiring others. But really I just do what I like to do. And here you are, you're up for an award, Rotary Citizen Award. What, what does that mean to you? It's, it means a lot because I just got asked to be put into this award just to be nominated thinking now I won't win but um, the person who put me into the award, Barbara James, who's part of Rotary because I'm president of the Rotary Interact and we got there and I was at, doing tennis at the time and they went, I got this phone call and I went, oh my days I've won and it was such an honour just to be nominated let alone win. It, I'm talking to others who've been uh, nominated, spoke to one yesterday, but speaking to others during the week. The, the one thing that you all seem to share, my word, you, you've got such a positive outlook on life. I think so. It's just trying to make everything positive as possible. Yes, you have the downs of not being happy, but friends really help. The, I, the Tennis Foundation really help with trying to get people more active, and I find being more active helps me. 
Next time you're in here, it'll be what, as Wimbledon champion? Hopefully, yes. I, I wouldn't bet against you. <laughs> I, 